How are you doing? It's me, Ilian Ilyev, and as promised, I'm going to present you with my trading plan for this week. Now, first of all, I want to say that we are still following up on the Euro Japanese Yen trading plan I posted last week, and we are waiting for a confirmation so we can go into either a buy or sell positions on it. Now, this week's plan will be on the Great British Pound USD uh, currency pair. And uh, what I'm going to present to you is again a two-way uh, street. So we'll have two scenarios, either a sell or a buy. We, but uh, to be honest, I am more inclined to sell the currency pair. Now, first of all, what we need to know is uh, why uh, we are going to look for sell spots. As you can see on the daily graph, uh, the pair reached a very strong weekly and daily resist resistance, which uh, is pretty old. It was actually formed in 2016 and it was formed by a bottom and a huge move up originated from it. Now, as the price retraced back to it, we can see that it uh, stood there for a few days and then it dropped down. Uh, here below, between the 1.3480 and 1.3607 area, we have a support area that was tested a few times, but uh, finally it was broken and I don't expect for the price to return below it. But it is a good target, as you can see the price, uh, the pair is currently being traded at a price of 1.3915 and our target would be 1.36 so that's around 300 pips worth of profit for us. So uh, again the plan will be uh, made on the H4 time frame. I'm opening that now so you can see it clearly. As you can see after the price reached the daily and weekly resistance area it started to drop forming lower highs at the same time we notice that the price previously formed higher lows so this gives us an opportunity for a triangle formation which i already drew on the uh, graph and uh, two possible outcomes either the triangle top line is broken and the pair continues up or the bottom line is bo broken since on the uh, weekly and daily time frames uh, we had a huge jump up uh, but we didn't see a good correction after that so my expectations are for the bottom line of the triangle to be broken and the pair to retrace back to the broken support uh, resistance area, which is now support area. So this is the most probable scenario for me. I would look for entries after the break of this uh, line, which is the bottom line of the triangle. And my target would be around 1.3550. Now from this point I expect to see a bounce as this support area was a pretty strong resistance area before and the price might retrace all the way back to 1.3765 area which is uh, the last bottom which is still not broken. Now there is also the scenario for the price to break the top line of the uh, triangle but my expectations if that happens are for the price to reach a maximum of this top here which I circled which is around the 1.4270 mark again this is around 300 pips so um, it's a good spot to make a small trade if that happens uh, I will post this trading plan on TradingView so you can see how it developed there. Uh, I will also post live signals on Twitter so remember to follow us. We have started also a series of uh, 
let's say, comments or posts uh, in which we share nice tips and hints for you. So they can be very helpful if uh, you're using them in your uh, trading strategy. Uh, what else? Follow us on YouTube, guys, so you can get notified when we post an, uh, new videos. Um, I'm just gonna go over to the economic aspects for this week, for the pound and for the USD, and what to expect in terms of volatility caused by economic events. And we're finished with the plan. Easy as that. So let's go to the economic overview. Just a second. Okay, here it is. So, so far today we had a few reports uh, with high importance from the US and they boosted the dollar a little bit, but overall did not bring huge volatility to the markets. By the end, end of the day, we have one more report and a testifi testify of the new Fed's chairman so that will be interesting, uh, remember to follow that up and see what he has to say because this might give hints uh, for the future of the dollar. We might see a stronger volatility during that time. Uh, and the report of, and the speech are both scheduled for 1500 GMT or 1700 Bulgarian time. Tomorrow we have a little bit more stuffed economic calendar. As you can see throughout the US session, we will see a lot of reports being published. The most important of which is the uh, gross domestic product for the United States. Uh, since it's not expected to change a lot, I also don't expect it to bring a lot of volatility, but be cautious. We might see a different number and we might see a very strong trend change, which can also be a long-term trend change. On Thursday, uh, March is already here, and keep in mind that we might have a bumpy road ahead of us on the first day of the new month, not only uh, because the monthly candles are closing and we might see uh, the big investors with the big money coming into the market, uh, for long-term positions, but also we have report, reports both from Great Britain and from the United States. And all of those reports are marked with either medium or uh, high importance. Uh, just to name a few of them, initial jobless claims, ICM manufacturing, ICM employment, and many more to come. Uh, we will definitely see some volatility uh, especially throughout the lower time frame. So if you are a day trader or a scalper, of course, um, or you are just using very tight stop losses, I advise you to keep that in mind and uh, book in some of the profits before the US session. On Friday, finally, we'll have a peaceful day. Uh, not a lot of reports expected, so not a lot of volatility expected. But keep in mind that this is the last day of the week, so we might, especially by the end of that day, uh, we might see a shift in the trend since uh, traders uh, that are short-term trading or uh, day trading will start closing their positions before the weekend. But this provides us with an opportunity for a very um, short-term uh, trade. Nevertheless, I'll follow on that plan. I'll post a live sign also on Twitter. Um, the entries will be made on the H4 time frame mainly. Um, so again, as I said, remember to follow us and I have something else prepared for you guys starting from this week. Uh, we are going to post uh, very short term trading plans, uh, both as two or three minute videos or on trading view. Uh, so keep in mind to follow them and uh, in order for you to take advantage of that. We won't be posting live signals on them, uh, but if you have a good entry and uh, money management strategy, you can just follow up on the plan and book in some profits. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you next week. I wish everyone a profitable week.